It's time to upgrade your Skyminer to version 0.3. This is the latest upgrade and it comes with a slew of enhancements and bug fixes for Skywire, including support for a Skywire VPN, which is very cool. This upgrade is easy to do and future upgrades are going to be even easier thanks to improvements in the built-in update mechanism, which is also very exciting. So I'm going to be following along with the GitHub guide and I suggest that you do the same as the most up-to-date instructions will always be found there. It says here that users running version 0.2.3 on their Skyminer boards are strongly encouraged to update their visors to Skywire version 0.3. So let's take a quick look at my hypervisor dashboard to see what version I'm running. And it looks like I'm running version 0.2.1, so I'm ready to go. Since I'm already in the hypervisor UI, I open a terminal and I'm going to want a full terminal for this, not a simple one. And once that loads in a new window, I can execute commands on this visor. So there's a command I need to copy and paste from GitHub. And note that you may need to use the menu rather than a keyboard shortcut to paste into the terminal, depending on the browser you're using. Hit enter and the visor gets updated and restarts. After the script is executed and the visor restarts, you may see a black screen. You can safely close that terminal window and head back to the hypervisor. And that visor that you just upgraded will remain red as the visor restarts, but it'll be green again after the reboot is complete. That's it, and then all we need to do is move on to the next visor and repeat the same process, launching a full terminal, pasting in the code from GitHub for each one. You can check on the visors you've already done to confirm that it's now displaying that you're running the new version of Skywire. After the visors are all updated, it's time to upgrade the hypervisor itself, which needs to be upgraded last, and this will require using a terminal on your computer like Putty on Windows or the Terminal app on a Mac. We need to SSH into the hypervisor using the IP address assigned to it by your internet router. Check out my video on how to SSH into your Skyminer for more detailed instructions on how to do this and how to figure out what your Skyminer's IP address is. In my case, the command is ssh space root at 192.168.1.3. When it asks for a password, I type the default password, which is Skybian, and once it's logged in, you just need to paste in the exact same command as you did for each of the visors. And once that's done, you go back to your hypervisor UI and log in. Uh, you will remember the blue color that it had before, but now, if the upgrade was successful, you should see a sleek, dark look to your dashboard. You may need to uh, clear the cache or refresh the browser to see it. And that's all there is to it. Good luck, and don't forget to log into the Telegram chat for Skywire if you're having any problems upgrading your Skyminer.